and it's your average developer here and today i want to welcome you guys to a very new course a brand new full stack application and we are going to be building this application together so so this application is a is a mentorship application so you can look for mentors you can send requests to mentors and then you can you can absolutely do anything you want to do like chat to the mentor and all that so we're going to um, go through the application together so you can see you can register so you can register as a mentor here register as a mentee here you can log in with your details it says network error because I'm not connected to the database yet and this is a home and you can get all the mentors we can get events we can get blogs and we have the about session so this is a simple simple application and uh, i'm not going to be de um, developing everything from scratch so i'm going to be giving out the f the code the front end code i mean the design just the ui design all that and we're going to build it from from there all right so if i connect to my back end now so the front end is connected if i uh, let's open a new window here and let's go to gtpa back end so the back end is in laravel you understand it's in PHP level so we do uh PHP archers and self I think that is a that is a local host address so it's running so we can use what we call table plus to run a local DB so we can just go to local host I'm going to show you how you can use table plus or any DBMS to uh, look up to your local host database right so uh, when we go we go here to the databases yeah uh, okay so I think that is it so you go to queries I think there's nothing there uh, let me close this connection okay that is it so these are the list of databases so we can go you see we have a uh, uh, what's the name of this application let me see if I have it I don't think this is it. Uh, okay, so that is it. All right, you see, so we have all our applications here. We go to users. We already have some users in here, so we can log in, right? So let's log in as a as a mentor, so I can use. Uh, okay, let's log in as a mentee. I don't know the password, but let's try something, right? So we can log in here. Uh, okay, so that means password is wrong. All right, cool. So you can see if when you log in, yeah, you, you get your details here, your profile picture, and all that. And if you go to the mentors page, we only have just one mentor in the in the application, so you can view the mentors profile. You can see. You can send a request and then you can give a duration of your mentorship your location you want to be online or one-on-one -on -one and you can say something to the mentor and all that stuff you can go to your user dashboard and you can see you have one mentor and the request has been accepted right and then you request zero and you go to messages you have no chat so you can come here and then message this mentor so once you click on message it loads your previous messages you've had with a mentor so you can log in and say hey um, hi I was uh, just uh, checking in on you something like that so when we click send uh, all right so that is it hey hi I was just checking on you so I really need to um, change some stuff here I need to send a push-up message before I actually send a message to the DB so that's that, that's something we can fix all right so we have feedback session here you can see there's no feedback you can provide feedback on your mentorship so this is you and this is your mentor right because so, you are you are a mentee right so this is your mentor and this is you so you can send uh, what they call the feedback to the system and tell us how you how do you how did the mentorship go with um with your mentor so you can say hey um you can say uh, you can mention your mentor's name, like maybe uh, Claudia was an awesome mentor and she did good, right? And you can send the feedback so you, you actually are you sure 
and then you can say okay so feedback is gone so yeah so this is just for a mental uh this is just like how the application actually works um you just send requests to mental that you know and then you just you know chat from there you take contacts and all that stuff so we also have the event session where you can just check available events so i'll just put some dummy data here you know yeah one of my favorite um <laughs> One of my favorite uh, movies. We also have blogs session also to you know. So we are going to be doing all this. There's a lot of stuff to learn, right? In this project, so we're going to look at how we can do that. We have uh, so we're going to log out. Oh, I shall show you the profile page. Um, so that's fine. So we can log in as a mentor now, and also see what's there. Oh, what did I do? If only I remember um, the password I used uh, for this. So, let me see. All right, that worked. So I use the same password. So you can see he has um two mentees. So you can see the mentees window. He has two mentees who wants to be the mentor, right? So one is a software developer, second is a developer. No request, no messages here. So. The little things um, need to be updated. So when I go here and I go to message, you can see the message that he sent. Hey, I was just checking on you. I received it here. And then the previous message. So I can also reply and all that. So we are going to test the flow. So you know what? Let's test it by... Uh, let's log in in another browser, right? So we're using Chrome. We can use Mozilla here. Um, no, sorry. We need to copy this link, so we paste it in Mozilla. It's going to access to login because we are not logged in, right? Good, so that is it. That's exactly what I wanted. So we can now copy our email here, paste here, and we log in. Wow, so we logged in, we can go to message now, and then hey, I was just checking on you, so you sent me this, I can say. Hey, um, sorry, that's nice. And how are you doing? All right, so sorry, it's sending twice, but I think something is wrong with Pusha. You can see it's at, it comes here just once. I think Pusha is just messing with me. Yeah, so I'll just refresh this uh, page. It's not, it's not showing, but you can see. It appears here real time, right? So Claudia just sent us this. And we can see. Yeah, I was wondering when we can start the mentorship, right? Cool. So you can see. Yeah, I was wondering when we can start the mentorship, right? So you can see it here nicely. But then I can see. The message I just sent for this guy, but that's fine. It should appear here. Okay, nice and fair, right? That's it. That's it. So yeah, so the message system also works fine. So that is Pusha doing the work behind the back. So yeah, that is it. So we can see, we can send requests and all that. We can view the profile, and also you can view your own profile. So you can see your profile here, and. Then you can edit your profile so you can go to edit account and you can edit whatever thing you feel like shouldn't be there right just edit your profile you can even edit a picture so you browse we can select um, the black man as a and it changes instantly so you can see it's also changed here yeah so we can uh we can log out all right we can just uh log out of the system and then we can go to the admin so we have an admin page am uh, i getting it right okay yeah so this this page is only for administrators to manage the application so we we'll look for a user who's an admin and yeah we find one so we can just copy that paste that and then and then we sign all right all right cool so you can see uh these things all right so we logged in we can see we have a dashboard a simple dashboard we have a, uh, a user drop down here we have their name and then the role they can 
Then we have a dashboard. You can see six active users, two mentors, one, uh, two mentees, one mentor, two requests, right? Two requests has come in. That means just two requests have come in. That means um, two people have made a request for a mentor, right? Cool. So you can see the request is from Charles Dickens and then wanting to have a mentor called or wanting Claudia to mentor him, right? And then next one was from this and this. So you can see the flow. Because we have only one mentor in the system, so we just here and then two mentees, right? So status accepted, right? So we can so here we can send them a feedback form. We can you have already sent a form to this request. Okay, from I've already sent a feedback form to these people. So it's telling me they already have a feedback. So that's what okay, if I've logged out. So you can also delete a request if you want. It failed, something might be wrong, but I'm not gonna check it now. We can you can just we have mentors, you can see we have two mentees, sorry, two mentees. You can see the information here. We scroll down, we see all the other information we have. We can edit those information and then we can also delete them from the system, right? We can also add mentees from this system, right? Cool. So we also have mentors the same way and we have feedbacks. So feedbacks that we have received so far. So you can see I sent one from Charles Dickens. I love the progress of the mentors now. I like to do it again. I think, yeah, this is what I sent because that was our small mentor and she did good, right? So you can see, we know that, okay, there was a positive feedback. So if this mentor complained that uh, maybe this, maybe maybe the mentor proposed that he or she was being sexually abused and all that, then we can remove this user from our system because we receive a feedback that he's being abused. So we can just remove um, Jayu from the system. We can just delete him from the system or probably suspend them, right? Yeah, so so this application users you can see and this are system users. So it's best you, you you separate them. So we have the application users, um, so they'll be managed by the pagination so that we do there. They don't overflow on the page, right? And we have the system users also. Yeah, that means users of the system who are going to be using um, the admin privilege. Um, the ad, they are going to have the admin side of the system. You understand? And then just a full time. Then you know some few and have activities, right? I missed that. So events and blogs, here you can post new blogs, new events and all that stuff. Yeah, so we're going to be building this together, you know, step by step. It's going to be a very lengthy course. So I plan to do like 30 minutes per course. You can just log out. 30 minutes per episode, right? So we just log out you can see this very nicely. Yeah, so that's going to be the course that we're going to build and we're going to take it very slow and steady. So if you want me to... Um, start building a course like right away you can just email me write me on my Twitter or my Skype and let me know if there's something you're interested in you want to learn right away I can send you private content and all that and also you can help and support me on my patreon side I'll leave the link in the description down below so I'll see you in the first video I'm going to post for this course that should be within the week um, if I get more people to reply me and say hey Charles, I wanted to post this course, do this course. I need to learn how to do that. I need to learn how to do that. Then fine, I will start right away. But if I don't get more people to, you know, yeah, to to comment or send me messages and all that, maybe next week. But if I get more people to do it, I'll start a course right away and I'll start building all that right away. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.